Hello, all you wonderful teachers out there. I am so glad you clicked on my video, and I hope you enjoy this week of my long-term sub position. So it's Monday. If you watched last week's, uh, you know that this is all the same <laughs> because um, I told you last week, but um, it was just kind of crazy. So I brought some work home this weekend, didn't do any of it. Um, I was kind of getting nervous because I had this observation today. It's the end of the day and I asked the, the principal to observe me and so I'm kind of, um, and it's been kind of nerve wracking lately because she observed me on Friday, she now observed me today which is Monday and then she's going to come in tomorrow and observe me again because she missed half of my lesson on Friday. So. I'm kind of nervous, but I think today went well. Um, she didn't really say anything and we didn't really talk after, so I'm hopeful that tomorrow when she comes and observe me, observes me, um, she'll be able to kind of chat with me a little bit about what she saw and what she heard. I kind of get into the zone where I like tune that person out. Like I'm still hyper aware of like that they're sitting right there, but um, I kind of am good at just tuning them out and kind of doing my thing and still kind of having fun with things and all of that but um i think it i th i think it went well i started with my mini lesson and we talked about fractions and different things like that and then i had two groups um and i th was thinking on my feet they use evens and odds so they say odd squad and even stevens and I just quickly thought on my feet and said, okay, Odd Squad, you're gonna go do these fractions around the room. So I'll show you guys quick what they look like. So, um, I can't remember where, it looks like you can find these. Um, it says created, if you can see down there. Uh, it's not showing very well, come on. Um, anyways, it says created by Miss B, um, realteachersleard.blogspot.com. So this is what you can get, and it's this created design. It actually comes like this, and we printed ours in color, and then it tells you the fraction for each one. It's all out of 100. So I actually started with an art piece by Pete Mondrain. And I just kind of searched up like artworks that had to do with fractions. And so we spent some time talking about what we noticed. They knew we were talking about arts, art with fractions because I had written that in their planners and they kind of had an idea. Uh, sorry, I'm playing with the light for a second. <laughs> um, they kind of had an idea that that's what we were going to do. So I showed them his artwork and we kind of talked about that a little bit. What do you notice? Um, how do you know that that's a fraction? Things like that. And then I showed this and we talked about, well, how many squares are in here? How do you know? Um, and then we went over a couple of the colors and different things like that. And then, so like I said, I had two different groups. So one group, I just had a bunch of these hanging around and I thought that would be good because that can get the kids moving. And um, I just gave them a little sheet that I made. Let me see. So I just went into Word and just did a table three by five to make 15 squares. At first I was going to do 13 so they could do it in groups. I actually asked one of my team teachers for some advice and she gave me some really helpful stuff. She was the one who recommended um, having a sheet for them to write on and things like that. So um, that was really helpful. So here you can see this student had finished I told them to choose one color that was recommended by the other teacher choose one color and write the fraction and um, so that was nice because it got them moving I just hung them in a semicircle away from the small group that I was doing so in my small group we talked about per, um, fractions decimals and percentages and we basically converted um, the different ones to that so here's a little example and then we would just like pick a couple colors 
and talked about that. And the cool thing was that my second group, um, so when they switched, my second group actually ended up writing the decimal and percentages for the colors. So that was really, really cool. I didn't ask them to do that, but they did. So that was really cool that they did that. Um, so that was my observed lesson. So it started with the mini lesson with the um, example of a real artist who uses kind of that fraction look. And then um, the example that I showed you. And then the small groups was 15 minutes of walking around doing that part, um, the individual part on the sheet. And then the other group, we were just doing kind of like a mini, mini lesson about um, fractions, decimals, and percentages. And then the share, we just came together. I grabbed a couple of those random ones and we did it. Um, to be honest, I didn't really think through the share. I didn't really know what I was going to do. I just looked at what they noticed about it. That wasn't very relevant, but um, I'll show you guys what the sheet looked like so you guys can see that. So here's what it looked like. I started with, I just had the word fraction up there actually, and I started by just doing yellow and blue from that big sheet. And then when we went to the small groups, I had the kids tell me, I was like, what is a fraction? Um, and then I asked them, what can you basically like, convert that to? They said decimal, we talked about the two decimals. And then we talked about percent. What is percent? Oh, it's out of 100, 4%, 16%. And then we did a small example. We did purple and the same thing, which was kind of lame because it was both I mean, you know, four out of 100, not very relevant, not super helpful. So the second group, I guess I didn't really think through this, <laughs> but the second group, then we already had all this information on the top, which I had to build with the first group. So the second group, I just kind of covered up the example of fraction here. And um, we kind of talked about what is the meaning a fraction so oops sorry we kind of went through that which was kind of silly because i did one that was four out of 100 which doesn't you know not super helpful but i think it helped a little bit and then we did some examples green and pink and those were actually different fractions so that kind of helped a little bit there but it was kind of so so um in terms of me going through and really thinking about how I was going to do this with each group. I just kind of winged it a little bit, which isn't always the best, but I think we still got some good information. And I think generally they kind of understood what percent was, at least, beca at least because we did it out of 100. So they kind of have an idea, I guess, sort of. <laughs> so there's that for the math lesson. I hope she thinks it went well. It'll be interesting to kind of see what her notes are about that. Um, otherwise, generally things are going pretty good. So this is my plan book for the week. And if you look at the last, so let me show you like week one of me being here versus this is now week six, I think. Wait, let's look. So week one was here and you can see very very detailed I got all the times yada yada two three four five six sorry we're in week six next week is week seven which look at next week <laughs> um, the reason it's blank actually is because the teacher in here I asked her about next week and she said she's coming in on Thursday to talk to me about it. So this one's going to be pretty blank until then. I do need some math lessons to put in there, but until then I don't really have much. Um, so yeah, you can see big difference between the weeks. <laughs> um, but I still know what I'm doing. I mean, the nice thing is right now it's kind of... We've been doing pretty similar things, so it's not like I don't know what we're doing, like bones. I don't, you know, I mean, a few weeks ago it was like 
I needed to know exactly what I was doing. Now we've been doing the same thing for two weeks. So I know what that means and what that entails. Same with practice. I mean, we've been doing this writing assignment for two weeks, so I know what that means. Um, and then we're just kind of finishing up. So present nine just means we're presenting nine presentations this day. Same with this day. Same with this day. And then hopefully we'll read outside. <sighs> Math is a little, I don't know, so-so right now. Um, I, I don't know about doing breakout. I feel like I just want to find something else and do that. I've been really, really into the cribbage, so I would like to do a little bit more with that, but we'll have to see. And then Chromebook slash catch-up day. Um, so not a whole lot, not a bunch of crazy stuff. And then next week, not much. So I don't know. We'll have to keep trucking through. Um, oh, I also wanted to show you guys, I don't know if I really talked about this or not, but these are the slides that I have made um, to have detailed uh, instructions. I like to have them up there so it's very clear to students what my expectations are and I think it really helps. I don't know if the teacher before me was kind of doing the same same thing but this is something that I've been doing and so you can see this is for tomorrow questions that we want to answer and then this was for writers workshop I've just been adjusting it through the days so last week it mentioned um, needing to practice or needing to finish writing or finish editing different things like that and oh yeah math doesn't really have anything right now math has been kind of a wish wash of different stuff so i really like putting my instructions up on the board especially if you have the same thing um again and again i just had to change instead of read about bones i will would you know it said it said muscles it said heart and same thing for both of those so you only have to change one thing build that routine up and they're kind of doing the same thing every day so I really like having those instructions, especially for your students that might be hard of hearing or, you know, chose to talk while you were teaching or whatever. I really recommend kind of writing those out. Um, makes your life easier, makes their life easier. And plus, when they were like, oh, what am I supposed to be doing? You can say, look up at the board. <laughs> Happy Thursday, everybody. I know I'm so bad about keeping consistent with the days, but it just gets so crazy. And then it's like at the end of the day, I just want to go home and ugh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm sitting by the window. It is beautiful out today. The last two days have been really, really tough here in this class, I think, because it's been dreary outside and rainy and gross and we've had indoor recess so i'm hoping today goes a lot better especially with the nice weather and everything um, behaviors have just been not the greatest so here's hoping fingers crossed that today goes much better i'm finishing up prep right now i only have a few more minutes until i have to go get the kids but i just wanted to quick do an update um so the i think i said maybe monday but the principal came to observe me one more time and i oh sorry two more times monday and tuesday um, monday was the math lesson and then the reading was just a mini lesson on uh sports medicine so she just came in and watched that and I haven't heard back from her about it. She hasn't really emailed or talked about it at all. So I don't know. Apparently there were pictures posted on Facebook of my class. So I don't know exactly what that means. Um, so hopefully that's a good thing. I feel like they went really, really well. I feel like I followed the structure really good. And um, I'm hopeful that she has positive things to say. <clears throat> so that's been really good. Math has been kind of so-so lately, but I think I have a really fun activity that I'm going to show you guys that I'm really excited about. Otherwise, next week we're starting a new unit. We're finishing up our presentations today. I might see if I can include it, but I don't know um, 
how much I want to show, obviously, of, like, my kids and stuff. That's probably not the best idea. So, I, you probably won't get to see very much of that. But, yeah, that's kind of what's going on, the updates. And I'll kind of share some of those other things with you guys probably this afternoon. I don't really have time right now, but I'll show you guys later. And, oh, it's just so beautiful outside. And I'm really happy that it's just feeling bright and pretty and feels really really good so I'll talk to you guys later so now that the day is over I can talk a little bit more about what I have been up to in terms of planning so because this it, when you're watching this it's gonna be after the teacher appreciation day but on teacher appreciation day TPT was having a 25% off sale on everything so I decided to go ahead and get a couple of things here. So this first one was just a cl cracking the classroom code, alien abduction back to school. I figured this would be a good one. Um, this one is $4 by Teresa Quant. And these are really fun. I did one before and they're just a fun way to kind of mix things up and do things a little bit different in your class. And this one's back to school. So I figure... Hopefully I'll have a classroom next year and I can use it. Otherwise, in the future, I can use it as well. It says grade levels 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. And sometimes you can bring that down to 2nd, but I'd have to do it and see how that would go. Also with my class, we did this human body bingo. And this was at the end of our unit. The kids really, really liked it. So this is what it looks like. And you have different questions that you pick from and then you have your bingo boards and then I just use some little markers to not markers but little chips to cover it and this is three dollars created by Kelly Ann another one that we use today now my accelerated students were gone for this activity but this is a pretty good one I think the things in here are a little bit advanced for some of my students in fourth grade, but it was still fun. So you can see here, this is just an example of what the coloring sheet looks like. So it is a color by number. And then you have your worksheet and it just has the different questions. This was 490, this is 495. Obviously I got these all at discounted prices. And then this is ga from Games for Gains. This is just good. They have a bunch of different ones too. Just these fun color by number types of things. This is something that I'll kind of go into more, but this is called um, Geometro City, Building a City with Math. So this is a project-based learning. You can see it was six seven. It is six seventy-five. Um, I got it for a little bit cheaper. This is called Digital Divide and Conquer, and so basically you plan out a city and it gives you all the tools which is really nice you can see here this is where you plan out your city and then you can cut it out and put them all together and that's kind of what a finished product would look like I'm super excited I'm gonna be doing this for three days next week and I am really really pumped to do this I'm so so excited so this is my Friday message. I know it's a little bit uh, not <laughs> not exactly the nicest to kind of trick your students, but it's kind of one of those following direction quizzes. So, well, quiz, I guess, morning message. But it says only do questions one and five. Don't tell your friends and don't answer the question below. So I don't know if kids will pick up on it. We'll see kind of how they do if they're going to like scan it really quick with their eyes or if they're going to be, I don't know. So, but I thought it would be a little bit fun, just have something to mix things up and enjoy our Friday and things like that. So not meant to be mean, just meant to like tell them, read all the directions very carefully. Like I spelled it out for them very carefully. So we'll see how they do tomorrow. I hope they do good, but I oftentimes have to tell kids read the directions and then they're like oh now I get what to do <laughs> so hopefully they'll do the same thing here so I think I'm going to sign off for the week yes there's a chair stacked behind me um, and the reason for that is I'm not really doing anything next week <laughs> if I'm being completely honest with you guys uh, next week tomorrow 
Um, we're finishing up presentations. I want to maybe read outside tomorrow, but I don't know if we'll have the chance to do that. And then um, in math, we're doing some Chromebook stuff. So it's not gonna be super interesting. I might try to show you what my day looks like, but other than that, I probably won't do that much talking. Um, Last thing I wanted to share is I think doing, especially in these upper grades like fourth and fifth, I think doing these rubrics is really, really helpful. So this is what our rubric for this presentation that we're doing right now looks like. And it really helps those students to know exactly what they need to do to get the grade that they want. And I think that shows a lot of who they are and um, just helps them know like what to expect. So I really like that and sorry there's like a lot of people talking out there but yeah so that's kind of what I really like. Oh my gosh it's so loud. <laughs> um, but yeah so I'm gonna end there. I hope you guys enjoyed this week and I hope you learned something or got something out of it. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will catch you next time. Bye guys! The stomach. The stomach is a bag of muscle for it, and it also Why, you ask, is because it digests in four hours. Your stomach basically is superpowered. It has acid made out of pepsin and hydraulic acid. Your stomach makes time out of the food you eat. It flashes around your stomach for hours. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ocean, and I'm a blue eye. I love, cake, I love cupcakes and adventures. Today, I'm going to take a trip through the human eye. My friend Brainy is going to join me and ask some questions. Here's a fact before we start. Eyelashes keep dust out of your eyes. That's cool. Ew, what's that slime cone chip thing right next to the ocean? That's called a cone cell. They, they are near the center of your retina. Is that I'm in charge? <laughs> okay, well, if you keep interrupting me, I'll have to send you a... Okay, fine. <clears throat> Really cool guy. It's blah blah blah. You know I'm your favorite body part. <laughs> <laughs>